I'm Donald Bell, Senior Editor for Digital Audio and MP3, and today we're taking a more in-depth look at the music and video capabilities of the Apple iPhone 3G. By clicking on the iPod icon on the iPhone 3G's main menu screen, you'll see all the music, videos, podcasts, and audiobooks you've loaded up through Apple's iTunes software. The features in the iPod tab really haven't changed since the original iPhone. You can still use both the list mode and the cover flow mode to browse your music collection. The quick tabs on the bottom can be customized to fit your taste, and video playback supports chapter markers, closed captioning, and iTunes video rentals. Other music and video features that haven't changed since the first iPhone include dedicated main menu buttons for a YouTube video player, and an iTunes Wi-Fi store that lets you browse and download new music directly from your phone, so long as you have a Wi-Fi connection established. We were a little surprised that Apple didn't give the iPhone 3G the ability to use the mobile version of their music store over the new 3G data connection. The new audio and video features of the iPhone 3G all revolve around the iPhone's application support. By pressing the new App Store button on the iPhone's main menu, or by browsing through iTunes on your computer, you can quickly access and download hundreds of third-party applications for the iPhone 3G, many of which extend the audio and video capabilities of the phone. Already we found handy applications for recording voice memos, streaming internet radio, and watching video clips. There's even software for composing music on your iPhone. Many of these applications are free, although some of the more interesting ones will cost you a few bucks. I'm Donald Bell, and that was a closer look at the iPhone 3G's music and video features.